I want to try and make this video as concise and to the point and straightforward as possible. I know that I sometimes ramble on quite a lot in my videos, so yeah, I'm gonna try and keep this one super to the point, get straight into it. So a little over nine months ago now, I released a video on this channel, uh, my ultimate bullet journal 2019. That's in June of last year, and uh, you guys seem to super love that video. and. I like that video. It was a cool video. It was based around my bullet journal. I absolutely loved that bullet journal back then. I was super lucky. That video was one of the first videos that ever, uh, I don't know if it's hit 10,000 views or it was the fastest approach in 10,000 views, but you guys seem to super love it. And I really loved it. I loved it because it was about my bullet journal and I absolutely loved my journal back then. But I think over the course of the last nine months, I've refined uh, the ingredients of my bullet journal and I've kind of developed new ways of doing certain things so I took out a lot of the fluff and I brought in a lot of brand new stuff in the brand new 2020 bullet journal. I know uh, recently I did put out a video talking about um, bullet journaling for mental clarity and I found that some of the things that I disliked about Notion was that Notion with it being digital I didn't have that paper and pen connection anymore um, so I decided to leave everything work-wise, life-wise, uh, database-wise, client-wise, life projects-wise store all of that stuff in Notion. This video is not about Notion whatsoever. I may have one coming out in a couple of months where I speak in depth about how I'm using Notion again. Uh, but today's video, we're gonna break down how I think that, you know, again, I'm just some guy on the internet, like take it as a pinch of salt. But uh, yeah, this is my way that I bullet journal at the moment. And it's just been phenomenal. I really feel like finally, this might actually be the way that I do things from now on, I'm fairly confident in that. It's been completely game changing um, and it's not gonna take you guys any longer than maybe 15, 20 minutes to set it up. It's super minimalistic because um, as we know, shit gets really boring and confusing when you have too much stuff to do. So no fluffy shit. Let's get stuck straight into my Ulmer Bullet Journal 2020. All right, so on the first page, we have my name, my email address, and then my contact number. Oh, by the way, anytime in this video that you see these little green tabs, they're just basically where I'm covering up personal information. On the second page, we have a very simple key, which I will break down in a bit more detail as the video goes along. So the first thing you will notice on the next page is where I had all of those pages before with like my monthly goals, which I now no longer need in here because they're all stored in Notion. I also had a bunch of other stuff in there. I had like a gratitude page, fulfillment pages, stuff about contentment in life, all of that kind of stuff, jargon all of that stuff completely cut out and gone. So you will see on the first page when we turn over, we go immediately into my future log. So this is often called a year at a glance, uh, but you can use even aim here, but this is a brilliant place for me to have a great overview of the entire year. Um, these are a bit tedious, I'm gonna have to write these out all the time, but it's definitely worth doing. So I have obviously the full year at a glance here. If somebody comes to me and or emails me and asks me about film work coming up in the next couple of months, I can just jot it in here and scribble it in. As soon as we've finished up with uh, this very simplistic, very minimalistic layout of the year at a glance on these two pages, we immediately go from the year view down to the month. And this is the part that I guess that people have before uh, noticed the most about my bullet journal or the thing that I've got the most messages about. Like I said before, that video done very well and I'm very thankful and grateful for all of the amazing feedback that I got on it. But I got a lot of questions and a lot of people saying that this page was the one that stood out the most. So again, it's very simplistic how I've done this. I obviously have to calculate the right amount of mini squares to draw in here. And then I'm obviously going one, two, three, four, five, all the way down to the 31st, if there is 31 days in that month. And then I go back and then I write the initial of the day, just so I never forget. I've always got that great over, overview to look at this and I know what the day is on that particular date. Um, one thing I've done as an add-on in this year's bullet journal is I have included uh, a color code down the bottom here. So I have friends and family on this one. So any events that are related to friends and family, any events that are like Mother's Day, that's pretty much the only event that was happening in March, and then work-related is blue. So anything that's blue 
again, I've always got that overview. I'm a very visual person, so I like being able to look over the top of this and see exactly what's going on from the start of the month all the way to the end. And again, I populate this month, by the way, by looking back at the, say I'd go into March here, see what I've got going on on these days that correlate to over here, and then all of this gets populated into the month. So I've almost got like a double version of what's going on. So I'm like, super mental clarity through the roof with what's going on on any particular month. This part over here, again, I explained this in my original bullet journal video. I feel like this is like the most infamous Stuart Carter part of a bullet journal ever. There are some things I've done different, quickly go over them. Obviously I have the habits that I'm tracking, which again, just to elaborate on what I was talking about before, how this bullet journal is not work related. It's not really necessarily a productivity journal for me. All of that stuff is in Notion. Notion is my productivity tool. This is more for tracking the habits that I've consciously brought into my life. You know, habits that I'm, uh, I'm aspiring to hit on a daily basis, things that I know are gonna eventually work towards my, my major goal. I see things in life that we have the goal, then underneath we have the habits that build towards that goal, then we have things like the mindset that controls the habits, and so on and so forth, but these are the habits that I know I wanna track on a daily basis. So I've got stuff like um, up at 6 a.m. and pray, shower and skincare, meditation, vitamins and creatine, gym, five hours plus work, three liters of water, 30 minute shutdown, 50 minute journal, shower and skincare at night, lights out by 9.30 and read. And obviously you can tell from looking at this that lights out by 9.30 and waking up at six o'clock in the morning were absolute uh -uh, didn't really happen throughout the month of March. Obviously if something's green, it's because I done it. If it's red, it's because I didn't. Someone on my YouTube, please make yourself known if you are around somewhere, uh, said to me what I should do is have a third color, which is what I've introduced here. And this basically means a day off or wasn't my fault. For example, if I'm running along, I twist my ankle, I can't go running the next day. I'm not gonna put a red there because that would indicate later on when I look back at it that I was lazy, but it might be something that was out of my control. And that is basically the very simplistic way that I'm able to look at my month and know exactly what's going on with my work stuff, my personal life, and all of my habits, super minimal and I absolutely love having that. But that is not the meat and gravy of a bullet journal anymore for me. Now I believe I've come up with the absolute greatest method to bullet journal moving forward. So yeah, let's talk about that. Let's see what I've changed moving forward. So after we've done the year going into the month, you guessed it, we're gonna go straight into the week. Now, this is an absolute fabulous way. I'm not gonna lie. I stole this particular idea up here from Nathaniel Drew. He mentions how he reviews his weeks and stuff like that. I thought it'd be a good idea to try that. I've been trying it for the last 30 days and it's absolutely changed my life. So let me break that down for you very quickly. So obviously first off, we've got the first week of the month listed up here. What I've got going on this week. So these are things that are mainly work related or big tasks that I know I have to do. Then I set myself some personal targets for the week. These are things like make sure I go to sleep on time, go to the gym, do my YouTube videos, tidy, tidy my room, etc. These are like personal targets, things that I want to hit myself in the week. Then obviously I have my week laid out, again, very minimalistic. Um, so I've got all of the things that I need to be doing on particular days. And then the bit that I absolutely love the most and had, has had easily the most impact on me in this entire thing is the first week in review. So obviously week of March 1st review. And then what I'm doing is everything that I've done throughout the course of this week, I'm reviewing it. So I'm reviewing how I felt inside. I'm reviewing how much money I made, how much work I done, how many times I went to the gym, what was my emotions like? What's my, I've even got here at the bottom actually, um, tabs for my emotions, my well-being, my negatives, my positives, and things that I wanna look to improve for next week. This is single-handedly the most important page in a bullet journal by a long shot. It's so important, and I'm gonna come on to why in just a moment. Then obviously when I've got this uh, week in review, what I'm doing is I'm then using this thing that I kind of messed up with the negatives, looking at the positives and things that I wanna do next week, and I'm building what's going on in the following week over here. So again, I've got week of March 9th to 15th, which is the next week. Everything I've got going on in times of work, 
big tasks that I wanna do, things that I should really be getting done, and then again, my personal targets for the week. Then with that, we go straight into the week so monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and weekend the reason that i put weekend as one tap together is just purely because we notoriously do way less work related tasks over the weekend than we do throughout the week and then you guess it when we come to the end of that we are reviewing that week now the reason i said that before this was so important is because I can now look at this week in review and compare that week in review to last week's week in review and see if I have actually made improvements, which as a human being like myself, who's highly productive, I'm highly motivated to be a better person. Um, I'm consistently on this like journey of wanting to learn all the time. This is so powerful for me and it just gets better and better. Again, you guessed it, we go straight back into going into this week, the personal targets for the week, the actual week laid out. Then again, we're reviewing the week, how we felt emotionally, well-being, negatives, positives next week. Again, you guessed it, setting up what we're going into the week to do, the personal targets for the week, then the actual week, reviewing the week, so on and so forth. We're just changing obviously the dates at the top and then, are we in the right place? Yes. And then when we get to the end of the month, or this is the last week of the month here, we're writing our normal review for the week as we have done all those weeks previously, but we've got this blank page here where we are doing a month of March review. So this is basically my perception of how I feel the month went as time went on. I'm looking at how much money I made in the month, how much money I saved in my bank account, uh, my fitness out of 10, my business running out of 10, my overall well-being, and then an overall message for how I felt the month went. And the way that I'm doing this month in review here is I'm basically reading through all of those reviews. I'm looking at each week's or weekend's review of the week gone by, and I'm kind of building up a mental picture. And honestly, I cannot tell you, by the way, how incredibly important this is and like eye-opening for somebody like me who like I say loves to learn and continuously get better as a human being there's things that I'm doing now which I would never have changed from the start of the month if I didn't do this if I wasn't tracking my weekly reviews and having a look at how things are then there's no way that I would be I would have changed those things and it's all those very small micro little changes that are going to you know, affect bigger changes happening in your life and bigger, better habits being built. So that has been so, so important. And, and writing out that month uh, review by looking back at these was, it made me just feel so good because I, I literally on one page can see my progression throughout a month in every avenue of my life, I can see a progression. And that's what I believe makes this bullet journal method so, so good. Then obviously, as soon as we get to there, boom, we're straight into April. Um, obviously, as you can see, I've had a fabulous start to April. I'm tracking a couple of different things to what I was in March. I've put studying in here because I want to do more studying. Um, but as you can see, yeah, been running a lot, been going to the gym, been eating healthy, looking after myself, and uh, I've greened all of these so far. So we are here on the 7th as I shoot this video. You'll watch it tomorrow on the 8th. And uh, again, yeah, first week of April, stuff I've got going on, targets for this week, all the things I did Monday, and then here we are on Tuesday for shooting and editing this particular YouTube video and then promoting the video so you guys can actually see it uh, tomorrow. And then yeah, again, at the end of this week, I will review it set up the next week so that is basically how i have set up my bullet journal for this year um it's been absolutely amazing like i said it's been a game changer for me anyway writing in a bullet journal um i also do have a separate journal which is like a little bit thicker than this one and softer leather and i keep that one uh, surprisingly under my pillow on my bed and I have set myself the habit target one of my targets in my habits to journal every night for 15 minutes and this is a super simple process um, all I do is open up the book grab a pen and I just write about my day I write about any money that I made that day I write about um, my feelings and emotions that day my levels of work 
uh, where my head's at, all of those kind of things. Um, and then this is a good place for me to go back to on a Friday night and look back at the, the entire week's journals and I can kind of build a better mental construct of, of, of how things have been going for me. Um, so I hope you guys did enjoy that. If you do have any questions at all or you want me to go over anything else, then uh, I would say the best way to get hold of me is probably to go to Instagram, which I'll pop up on the screen somewhere here. Um, jump over to Instagram, drop me a follow and drop me a DM if you have any questions. My email is kicking about or the best one for the algorithm here on YouTube is to drop a comment below. But thank you so much for sticking around and watching. Um, I do hope that people can take some stuff away from this and learn a lot of stuff from it. I've also dropped a link to Nathaniel Drew's video below uh, because I did essentially get the week review part of my bullet journal from him. Um, so Nathaniel, if you do ever by any chance watch this video, thanks for the inspiration on that. You actually inspired me to start my channel. Now look at us, we're fast approaching 100,000 views, which is just but yes, thank you so much for being here. I hope you all are staying super safe, staying inside, looking after our wonderful doctors and nurses out there who are fighting this ever-growing, um, I don't know, man. I don't know what to call it because I don't know if YouTube's got like an algorithm that can pick up me talking about the thing. You know the thing. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, subscribe if you want. Hit the like button. All of that kind of stuff really helps me with my goal of hitting 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2020. So, thank you so much for being here, watching this video, and I hope that you do learn something good from my bullet journal videos. Thanks so much. Take care. Peace.